Yeah, well, you only don't know this is Ziggy Rocket and it's all about KVTV, you don't know where you go. Hey! Welcome to KVTV, I'm your host Giselle Aguilera. Hi, and I'm your host Khadija. We're here at Red, Red Runway. Runway. So we're going to get a backstage pass. It's all about fashion. It's all about Red Runway 2012. You're going to see some of the guys in swimsuits. That's going to be hot. You're going to see designers. You're going to see models. It's all about Red Runway. Khadija. We're going to get a little inside scoop from the event coordinators. Find out what exactly was the planning like to create such a spectacular event here at Cascadia Hotel. We're going to talk to everybody we could probably find so too, you know. But you have to keep it locked. Keep looking at KVTV. Get all the details, all the scoop. That's where it's happening. KVTV. KVTV. Okay, so this is KVTV and we are here at Red Runway 2012 and we're here with Fidel Eccles and Florine. Um, tell me where you guys are coming from. Frederick Settlement County. County. County? Yes. Okay, so he's representing, I guess, for the KV. TV people right from Cali Village, where came out of there. Okay, so who are you here to support? My daughter, she's on the um, Red Runway. What's her name? Christina Eccles. Okay, so prior to your daughter entering the event, did you know about the Red Runway event? Well, it's about a year now she am um, with Red Runway. So she did the previous show with them as well? Yes. So what are your expectations of the event? and the show and the parade of well, the fashion and so forth. What are your expectations from, for this event as prior to last, last year? Well, in the last one they did most of their own um, fashion. They, they, they designed their own clothes and they um, did um, white t-shirts from Red Runway. But today they have designers designing clothes, so it should be much better. My name is Janelle. So tell me who you're here to support or what are you doing here at Red Runway? I have a friend who's modeling actually. His name is Alista Green. Okay. It's a guy? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's his first time at Red Runway? Yeah. Okay, so have you been to the rehearsals and so forth with him or is it the first time you're going to actually see him strut his stuff on the runway? First time I'm going to actually see him <laughs> strut his stuff. <laughs> so what are your expectations for the event? Well, I expect it to be really, really good because from previous years, from what I've heard, it has been a good competition. So we're here with Keisha. Keisha, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Are you here to support someone or are you just interested in fashion? Well, I have my niece modeling and um, two of my friend's children. I was bringing them to the rehearsal, so we have to cheer them on. I'm very excited. So what are your expectations in terms of the fashion and so forth? What are you looking for? Well, I don't know much about the designers, but um, I'm hoping to see some good fashion. So far, so good. You know? So. Yeah, the um, ambience is good, so I'm hoping that this show is good too. Okay, so we're here with Kieran Ward. Kieran, you've never given KVTV an interview. And finally, at the final event, we're going to get one. So tell us a little bit about the process, something quick, just about what you're thinking about right now. It's the final, how you're feeling. I know this is like your baby. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, I'm really good that there's a full audience. I have at least 800 people sitting there. So that, that part is good. I'm very tired because I've been up and down for... I've been, I haven't slept in two days, so it's a bit difficult, especially you really get a lot of, it's kind of like you're doing it by yourself, so hopefully next year we get a lot of people on board and supporting trying to make a fashion because as you can see people want to want to come and see fashion, all the designers got their exposure, all the models got, got, got to show themselves on the runway finally after training for so long, so I mean I achieved my goal in terms of getting that part but I mean it, it's difficult not with any, without any support so it's kind of hard and so but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop so next year the show is gonna be a lot bigger than this year I mean it's some people say the show is very big this year but next year will be a lot bigger because I want it to be like I want it to be that this will be Trinidad and Tobago 
fashion experience. You know, this is the one place that you can, new designers can get exposure and people who want to show them garments and sell clothes to people who need different and not just going to the stores, they want designer clothing. This is the place where you get that, get that. you get to see that there. So, mm -hmm. Okay, you said um, getting to buy the actual garments and so forth. Um, at this event particularly, is, it, is there an opportunity to actually buy from any of the designers? at the event itself or is it that you would have to contact them at later notice or something like that? No, what we did this year and it still needs to be worked on in terms of for next year um, after the show is finished the models get to stay in what they have on and they get to you know the, the through the models the audience would get to interact or get to find out whose designer is that so through because we, we do have a forum where we, all of the clothes are displayed but as yet, you know, due to time restraints and so forth. But next year, that's what I'm trying to add to the show in terms of having an exhibition before during the day, and then you had the show in the night. So you get to see the, see it still during the day, as in stores and outlets. And then in the night, you get the the full movement, you see it in movement. So that is that is the next step actually. So so the, the designers could actually have a little more, get a little more out of it because that's what we need to get. The designers to get a lot more exposure and be known out there in Trinidad and Tobago because we don't have any outlet for that. Okay, Kieran, so are you happy with the final product? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As I said, I didn't see, I, I, I didn't see most of it on backstage most of the time, so, and people who pass me are very happy, so, and they like great show and stuff, so, I guess they, they enjoyed it, so, from, from there, from there, from there, reaction i get my um, i get knowledge of what's going on okay i know you have to run out there right now so i want to say best of luck for next year and thank you for bringing kvtv to be part of this event and we hope to be with you next year as well thank you ktv for coming and showing the red one way show we're very appreciative of uh, the support hi guys so we're still here at red one way we have with us steven steven tell us how was the event? I mean, what was your favorite designer, your favorite section, everything? Well, my favorite section was Jade Kaleis um, Kaleidoscope, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my favorite section. You want to tell us why? Like, what was the reason? Well, from the moment I heard Jade Kaleidoscope, I thought it was going to be greenish blue and colors, and that's what I saw. I really like the different designs and the way the model, the designer put the textures together and stuff like that. All right, so would you be looking forward to the other Red One Way next, next year? Next year, yeah, yeah, of course. Definitely. Hopefully, um, I might enter. Yeah. You might enter, yeah. also you want to be one of the male models next year? I might year. be one of the male models next year. Nice, and he'll go through all the training and get all the details for us. And we'll, you know, get back to you. Okay, so we're here with Sharon Christopher. She is the creator of the Rosé collection, which was a beautiful collection, might I add. Um, Sharon, tell us a little bit about the process that you went through to create all the designs that you did for the Red Runway event. And is this, is this your first time actually putting out a collection for an event such as this? No, actually, this is my second time um, taking part in Red Runway. Um, my collection is part of my thesis collection that I did for my finals at CFD. I did my bachelor's degree and as part of the collection I was inspired by um, just after the Second World War when Rosie de Riveter led women back out to work and I created a collection surrounding strong women showing how women coming together could build back how they work to build back the economy during that, that time period and I used like a lot of layering of fabric to show women building back the economy layer by layer and the block print of the fabric show them building it back block by block to create a better society. Alright so guys we have with us here Ravindra. So I hear you from Kelly Village. Yes, yes I am. You, yes you are? Yes, yes. Cool, you enjoy the event? Yes, it was good, it was good. Cool, what was your favorite section? So the one with my, well, Ava represented the former by me. Yeah. Christina Eccles, she's here, so we came to support her. Okay, okay, okay. So, what do you like most about her section? Uh, How? The clothes on the, um, <laughs> the costume she wear on and stuff it's, like that. You think you'd ever wear something like that? No, no, no. No? no so what about the guys section? It had like guys more than you. You wouldn't wear so many styles that you no, saw the guys no, in? No. no. Why not? I don't like it. You didn't like it? No. Alright, well that's just 
his opinion. I mean, maybe we could get some other opinions from some other people around here. We have to go look. Okay, so we're here with Christina. She went out on the runway already. Christina, tell us what your experience been like throughout the entire event from training to finally being on the runway at the the last event. How has it been for you? Um, it's quite a bit sad actually knowing that this is the end of Red Runway. I'm sitting here reminiscing on everything that we've been through from the castings to the training, the vigorous training and working out, um, the casting, the second casting show at Wood Woodburg Youth Facility and then to UE Spec, change from UE Spec and now to here and the experience walking down the runway is phenomenal. I feel like a superstar. I just want to go back out there but my feet are killing me though. It's longer than I expected. Okay, and tell us a little bit about the garment that you're wearing right now. Who's the designer? Can you stand so we can actually see it? My garment is by Roxanne. She owns the line Intro Designs. Um, she's wonderful. Um, I love her oriental style. It's completely with me, seeing that I'm East Indian. Um, I absolutely love her garment. Okay, and the makeup as well. Who um, tells you all about the makeup? Is it the designer completes the look with the makeup or is it chosen by yourself? Um, the designer completes the makeup from the eyes to the lips to the glowy look on my skin, everything she did. Alright guys, so we kind of found ourselves here. One of the future KV TV presenters. Yes, her name is <laughs> Natasha. She is here at the Red Runway. Unfortunately, you're not hosting with us tonight. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's I'm sorry. We, sorry. We'll forgive you this time. This, just this time, we'll forgive you. Okay. So you want to give us a little bit of insights on the event? What you think about it? Well, I think it was it was a lot of fun. Um, actually, one of my girls that models for me, that do promotions for me, which is Gamma Promotions, she is actually one of the models for Red Runway right now. So we came to support her. Me and one of my other girls came to support her. So we just come to have fun and support her and enjoy. <laughs> So, which section was your favorite? Which designer was your favorite? Well, to tell you the honest truth, I can't remember right now. <laughs> no, serious, I can't remember the names. But it, the, I think it's the last one, actually. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Had, yeah they had the last one was, was very nice. So. If you like me, then that means you would have enjoyed the guys. You didn't, you didn't watch the guys? A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. It's all right, it's all right. So, you think it ever be seen wearing any of these designs that you saw today? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah, I me too. I saw a few that I like, I love, and it was very nice. And yeah. that was really, really good. Yeah. Really. You didn't think you would be expecting that out of like amateur designers, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> we had some really gorgeous stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we're here with Rebecca. She's one of the in-house models for Red Runway. Rebecca, tell us a little bit about in-house modeling. Okay, so basically an in-house model, what she does is like during the show, she would, well, take, you can usher as well. So tonight I was ushering, but like a showcase model. So I was showcasing the um, the makeup artist, Tori, her makeup tonight. Yeah, and Red Runway, of course, and their dress. Okay, so what did you think tonight about the show, the final event? I know you've been training and so forth for a long time. So how did you think the finished event came out? It was amazing. Everybody looked really nice. It was well put together and everybody did their best. And it's sad because it's coming to an end, you know. No red run wait till next year. It's, it's really sad. So what do you want to do in the interim until there's another red runway? Are you going to look for other shows to go and be part of modeling wise and so forth? Well, yes, I do model besides Red Runway. So, yeah, I do have other events and photo shoots coming up. So, yeah. So, Kirisha, for an aspiring model, give me a little something to, that you would like to say to someone who's aspiring to be a model in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, in Trinidad and Tobago, or international-wise, I guess, is... I keep saying to myself, you may get yes, 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 but the no will come one day, and when the no does come, don't give up. That's 
when the no comes, when you get to know you ask, why did I get my no? They tell you why, and you say to myself, okay, you can cry a little bit. Just say to yourself, okay, these are things that I need to change, and you know, change it, and just improve yourself basically, because you know it's like a sign of improve that you need to improve some things. We have here with us Tamara. Um, were you one of the designers here tonight? I, I was one of the designers, right. but my role here today was to entertain the guests from the outside. So as fashion outside, fashion inside. So as you see here, we have a display of unique, very unique jewelry. Yes. Love some of the jewelry. It's very Caribbean, very okay. like, you know, traditional. You see new wood and stuff, all these different things. I see she have a little... Coral uh, display. Coral, the coral display. Yeah, this is very... Caribbean, indeed. So, um, what went on tonight was that actually her designs and her accessories were the door prizes that were won by some of the, the guests. Yeah, the guests yeah. that were here tonight. So, how do you yeah. feel about that giving away your accessories and designs to guests? It's always a good thing to promote the brand, and it is relatively new. So, um, Tam Brand is about four months old month right so um and it's unique as i said so most of the persons who purchased today and even the door prize winners yeah. they would be the first to actually wear some of these these designs mm -hmm. um we're are located we can we are accessible via facebook right. um and people are really loving it so yeah, well, i mean it's, it's a kind of interesting name i mean her name is tamara yeah. and her brand is tamran i mean it, yeah. You planned it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, we know she planned it. Yeah. What was kind of funny though was that with the door prizes, it was mainly guys that won. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do with all these accessories and chains and but earrings. and. It will be great gifts for their great girlfriend. I, yeah, I know Christmas coming up. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Tamara. Thank we you. love your designs. Thank you. People, check them out. Okay, so we're here with Ricky Dukran. Um, he is the Vice President of the Executive UTT Guild. Ricky, tell us a little bit about your involvement in the Red Runway events. I know you brought in some designers and so forth. Tell us a little bit about what was the process for you getting involved. Well, today we reveal the um, production of the, um, from the students of UTT. Um, previously, I said, you know, UTT is students are filled with so many talents. Um, they have so many innovation. They are filled with brilliant ideas. And events and forums like these bring, um, endorses. I endorse it because it promotes and it exposes the talents of the UTT students. And I, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the events coordinator um, for allowing us to you know take part of this event you know to distribute and show um that fashion do exist locally and of course i would like to also thank christopher nathan who was also the head of um, caribbean academy of fashion design at utt and also you know um, his directorship and dealing with the models it was perfect magnificent magnificent uh, i could say um you know the students at UTT are uh, so, how to say, uh, wonderful at what they do, you know, they're so enthusiastic. Um, you know, we're trying to build our industry, our local industry, so, you know, locally we have to embrace it. Uh, if we don't embrace it, how do you know about the talents in UTT? So, you know, what um, students here at UTT is doing, we're trying to push them out, to show them uh, that students, um, students at UTT have so many talents, the ability to do so many things, and, you know, we want the country of China to be able to notice this, because as, um, as yet we don't have a local industry and we're trying to build it and if the citizens in China do we don't embrace it because everything we want to um, even I want to um, post brand other people brand names um, brands and not even um, wear local brands and if we don't endorse local brands how we will nobody um, local designers and etc <laughs> We have with us Miss Carice. She's one of the gorgeous models that was modeling here tonight at Red Runway. Carice, how was your night? 
It was fun. It was fun? Yes. So what was the preparations like leading up to Red Run Week? It was hard and it was frustrating. It was like hardcore training. People think modeling is easy, but it actually isn't that easy. Yeah, I, I am. I could tell. <laughs> so like how long you all trained for, prepared for before this event itself? Well, before the, after the castings, it was exactly three months. And before that, it was two months. So, what was your most, like, what was the hardest moment, you think, doing this whole thing? Like, you ever had a moment where you just wanted to quit the whole thing and stop? Having to walk in these uncomfortable shoes. What? No, we kind of have, like, similar shoes. Like. <laughs> Yours red. But anyway, so, what section were you with? Who did, what was the designer that you modeled for? I was with Kirby. Mm -hmm. I think hers was... Kaleidoscope, that was the, first, the second designer, and I was also with Dexter, that was the first designer. So, I mean, yeah, you modeled the outfits, but would you see yourself wearing any of these outfits outside of the runway? Actually, yes. Yeah. Hi, my name is Dale Austin, you're on Red Runway 2012. Hi, KVTV! We're here with Christopher Nathan once again, after months and months of hard work. Christopher, you look tired. <laughs> Tell us about the event, the final event. What did you think about the outcome? I think I think it was a tremendous success, both in terms of the models as well as the new design talent that we featured today. Um, the the goal of Red Runway really is to launch new talent, uh, makeup artists, models, designers, and all the other fashion professionals for the industry. And after seeing the quality of work here on the catwalk, even though. Um, you may say that um, some of the garments are not wearable or not commercial. Uh, for a catwalk, designers tend to show um, designer pieces and then scale them down for consumption when they are selling the collection. So that's what we saw today in some of the collections. I was pleased with the models because after about five months of training, uh, they were able to exhibit all the technique that they learned during the months. So uh, the models was a tremendous success as well. Many of them can now go and model professionally because they have found their confidence, um, they have good posture now, and they have swag the fellas, as you can see. So um, all in all, I'm very, very happy with it. I saw a lot of amazing colors coming out. Can you tell us a little bit about the designs themselves, being a designer yourself, um, for one of them was Gogo, was it? Yeah, I noticed that, well, she told us that she actually hand-painted some of the things. And I thought that was like a really beautiful collection in terms of colors. Tell us a little bit about getting that effect and so forth. Well, first of all, I'm a fashion director. Most people think I'm a fashion designer. A fashion director really coordinates and administrates fashion. I also am a fashion coordinator, so I coordinate fashion shows. So I've never really been a designer. Um, the color palette of the collection, I was happy to see, is um, influenced by the Caribbean. So it, um, they got inspiration from the colors of the sea, the Caribbean sea, um, the foliage in the forest. And as a result, you saw something that was distinctively Caribbean, but with international appeal. And I think that is important for our industry because designers um, need to be aware of what's happening internationally in terms of color trends, etc. But still infuse Caribbean flavor. And that's what our designers did today, successfully. And out of the entire show, was there any particular line that sparked, you know, that interest for you? It would definitely be the last collection, Sharon Christopher's collection. It was really amazing, very commercial, well made because she has a tailoring background. And I think that collection could go on a catwalk anywhere in the world, any fashion capital in the world. And that's the reason I closed the show with it. Because from the first time I saw it when she brought it in, I found it to be impeccably produced and very well designed as well. Uh, some designers tend to go overboard with their designing and they don't know when to stop. So it, my motto is less is more. Um, however, some people like to glam and flam and, and, and bling and that makes the collection often look costumish, um, sometimes folklorish and not very commercial. She, even though her collection was high fashion, 
she was able to create clean lines and a fresh silhouette so that anybody can buy it and wear it you see um, so my hats off to her Sean Christopher is a recent graduate of the Caribbean Academy of Fashion and Design at UTT and I applaud UTT for producing that high caliber of fashion designer for our industry okay Christopher I know you're tired so I'm gonna keep it short but going forward where do you see yourself after Red Runway it's over I know you mentioned that you might be retiring soon no <laughs> we don't want you to leave but have you changed your mind um, no I haven't changed my mind this might be my last full fashion show actually um, I'm still contracted to the Ministry of Trade and Industry um, for the Fashion Industry Development Committee so I will continue to work on that committee as well as the Fashion Association of Trinidad Tobago as a director but in terms of producing fashion I think um, I've reached my optimum and I'm pleased that there are many young fashion professionals who are coming up in the industry there's a huge underground movement including fashion management graduates of UTT who are equipping themselves to take over where I leave off as fashion coordinators, fashion administrators, fashion consultants, etc. So I'm leaving the industry at a time when the industry is well poised to take off internationally. But before you leave the show and before you leave the industry are there any um, closing comments for upcoming designers upcoming coordinators and so forth what is your advice to them be professional I think that is lacking in the Caribbean um, people say that they're professional but the attitude and the behavior is not professional a professional um, respects people's time both the models the venue etc uh, a professional gives their best every time a professional respects deadlines and that is not happening in the industry and the other thing I would like to tell the new designers is to keep focused on quality ensure that every garment that leaves your atelier or your studio is impeccably produced so that whoever client or customer buys it is satisfied that they are getting value for money and that's the only way we can take Trinidad Tobago's fashion internationally is to ensure that our production is up to par with our design abilities because we do have tremendous creative energy what has been lacking here is attention to detail and finish and fit so that the garments look commercial and can go into a store from the catwalk and that is not happening and i hope that for next year fashion week which we hope to have in october we will see well produced sample collections on the catwalk so that when they go into the buyer's gallery clients are able to um, buy high quality made in TNT garments so this has been yet another KVTV production for Red Runway this has been the final Kirisha. yeah this is definitely it I mean I must say I was definitely impressed with what I saw here tonight the designs were awesome I would definitely wear some of these designs outside of what I saw here tonight I would wear it to like go to Zen or something like that what about you Giselle I totally love the go-go section the colors were amazing go-go section go-go nice. <laughs> so this has been red runway red we came runway. we strutted yeah we definitely modeled we worked at yeah. <laughs> KVTV style KVTV Giselle Aguilera I'm Khadija Baksh. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to tune in and look at our videos on YouTube. We'll send you the links on Facebook and yes. just stay tuned. You don't know where we might be next. KVTV, that's where it's happening. Bye. started in 2008 where executive events trying to promote local fashion by exposing new models and designers because I know Red Runway isn't just a fashion show it's a fashion experience so we are here to enjoy the experience let me see my show bands all right well you know you all can make a lot more noise with models these are new models these are new designers and we're looking for your support so I like you want to clap and share as loud as possible so you can give them encouragement so they can rip the red runway 
Because I've been preparing a long time just to put this show out for you. So please support them with your applause this one.